Do you see that pigmentation? Um, like, look at that. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? That's wild, you guys. Hi, you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we are doing a full brand review. Oh my gosh, the rain outside is so loud. I've been trying to film for days and it's been downpouring, so I'm hoping that it's not too crazy in this video, but it is. If it is, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. It's downpouring. I feel like I'm in a monsoon. But anyways, I digress. We are in. We are doing a full brand review today and I'm really excited. Um, we are doing a full brand review of Undone Beauty and I'm so excited. We did a full look on the face today. Like I tried everything on for you guys. I've been trying and testing their stuff out. Some of the stuff was sent to me, but a lot of the stuff I did purchase myself because I wanted a full collection of everything that they had. I know a lot of people are looking for affordable brands, affordable options out there. Um, and so we're getting into it. We're getting into some affordable clean beauty and I'm so excited excited. So I just kind of want to jump into this video and get started. Um, they are available, I believe at Ulta and they are also available, I believe at Target. I might be wrong either way. Everything will be linked that I used on my face today, or even mentioned if I couldn't use everything, everything will be linked down below. But yeah, I just want to jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this undone beauty review. All right, you guys, a full face of undone beauty. We're doing a full undone beauty review and I'm really excited. I just want to jump into it and get started right away. So first things are first, we're gonna do brows today. So Undone Beauty has this like brow pen, dual ended brow pen. Um, so this is the pen that they have. And then they also have like a brow gel on the end. So we're gonna use both today. Um, I really do, I got the colored one. They also have a clear one, but I figured because I want the brow pen, want to try it out. I was like, okay, I'm not going to go with the clear because the clear end of the brow, um, the clear brow pen is clear. This is a really like interesting product. I do really enjoy the brow gel. It holds in place really well. I prefer in general a clear brow um, gel, but this is nice, and if I need to just fill in my hairs with this, I can do that if I don't want to use the brow pen and I wanna just use something super easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and just like one product. Now, we're gonna move on to the brow pen. Now, <laughs> this is, first of all, so long lasting. I mean, it is so long lasting. Like the second it dries down, it literally doesn't move all day. It is actually so unbelievably impressive. The only thing I will say is, do you see how pigmented that is? You have to, you have to be really careful because the pigmentation is very, very intense. And so I find this a little bit tough to work with just for my own experience with brow pens. I find this a little bit hard to work with in the sense that it's so pigmented that I feel like I end up looking like a Sharpie brow, as you can see. You know, you can do really, really light hairs, which I'm going to attempt to do, but I'm probably gonna mess it up. Um, but it is really easy for it not to become a light hair. Um, you have to press very, very lightly, but you also have to have decent control of the pen because if not, the little hair that you're going to create is a little bit too thick, but we're going to do our best. Pretty too dark. Now you can see my brows are pretty like Sharpie brow, like looking crazy a little bit. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spoolie just so that you can see kind of how it like spoolies out because it like literally stays. It's so impressive. So if you can find the right shade for you in this, my brows look a little crazy, but that's okay. I'd probably go shade lighter or two for me. Um, so it isn't quite so intense, but since my hairs are really, really dark, um, in general, something that is on the darker end looks more natural, even though normally I would suggest if you don't have quite as dark of hair as me to go two shades lighter because it looks a little bit more natural. But that's okay, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Um, I do really like this. I'm going to try and get it in a shade that works for me because this is so long wearing. Like even when you have tried to remove it with water, with like, did you see how dark that is? And I'm like so lightly, like barely touching, barely. They're just so, Oh, so pigmented. It's a little Sharpie brow, but that's okay. This side is, I need to fill in here a little bit better. If you kind of lightly grab and pull, it is not bad. Next, we're moving on to complexion. Um, I believe they had two complexion products, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I got this one, the Unfoundation Glow Tint, and I believe they also had one that was matte. And the shade I got in this is 450 Almond Latte Medium, and I feel like it's a decent shade match for me. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand so you can see. 
what it looks like. So this is it, and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. And do you see how it's a, it's a pretty decent shade match? I do really like this. I'm just gonna mesh it in, mesh it in, blend it in with my fingers. Bring it all the way down. Don't forget the sides. I feel like a lot of the time people forget to bring it around the sides here, and then it makes it more apparent. Um, also, people don't always blend um, to their neck and then when they're wearing like an open something and then it ends up being more apparent, especially if it's more medium coverage. Okay, so that is that blended with my fingers. I'm gonna take a sponge and just blend it in with a sponge so we can really get a very nice natural finish to the face. Okay, so that is that all finished, blended out. I used everything on the back of my hand um, and it is a nice, like natural dewy finish. It isn't like unbelievably dewy where, you know, I'm looking like an oil slick or anything like that. Whereas other products I have that I love that are super, super dewy, give me more of that oily look. This gives me more of a natural finish and it wears really, really nicely throughout the day. And these are really, really affordable. Highly recommend checking them out if you want something affordable that gives you like a nice glowy finish, but that isn't too intense. Um, and you get like, this is like a, they have a decent shade range. Okay, so the next let's move on to concealer. So they have one concealer, if I'm remembering correctly, and this is their Conceal Reveal Palette. And um, I don't love that it's in a palette, but that's just personal preference, right? Oh my gosh, everything is so hard to open. So now I finally opened it, it takes so long. I don't wanna, I just did my nails, I don't wanna ruin them, you guys. So this is it. Again, I got the same shade, I wanted the matching shade, so I got this shade 450 Almond Latte Medium in this again. Um, and I've used this a bunch, and I just take a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit, and I'm just gonna, I dip my finger in a little bit, not, ooh, that's a lot, that might be too much. That feels like too much, that's okay. I'm gonna let that sit for a second, let it kind of dry down. Bake, if you will. What I, someone has told me what it, to call it and every time I call it something different. So I'm gonna let this sit for a second, then we're gonna blend it out. Um, one side with our fingers, one side with a sponge. Okay, so we let that sit. So I'm gonna go one side with a sponge and I'm just gonna blend it out. This is really nice because it doesn't, like when I go up close with a um, mirror, it doesn't, like when I look at it, it isn't like super, like it doesn't look very apparent under the eyes. Just in general, I don't, I applied a little bit too much of this. I don't love to over apply this one, um, but I also don't love to over apply concealers in general, but this is not one that I love to over apply. I do find sometimes when I do, um, it can get cling ever so slightly to certain like patches, um, depending on the eye cream that you're wearing underneath it. If you if you are wearing an eye cream. Okay, so that is that blended. You'll have to let me know what side you like better. Um, do you like the side with the sponge or the side that I used my finger with? Let me know down below. Um, I really like these together. I do, if I had to pick between the two, I prefer the um, foundation um, skin tint, but these are both really, really nice. I just don't love that this is in like a container like this. I would love it to be more, I don't know, in something a little bit different, like a, like a different pot or even just, um, a regular like concealer, but that's a personal preference thing. That's not, everyone's gonna care about that. Um, I really like these two. If I had to pick between the two, I would go with the gl glow tint. Is that what it's called? The on foundation glow tint. This is really, really nice. And I'm gonna be wearing this a ton. So next let's move on to bronzer. So I have a couple of options for bronzer. Um, I have this huge highlight bronzer palette. Um, and this is in the shade Warm Up Bronze 550. Um, and this is really, really nice. I like just the the size of it. I do kind of prefer when bronzers are just all in the pan so I can kind of swirl around, but this is big enough here that it isn't like hindering my ability to apply. Sometimes when they're like really striped small, I'm like, girl, how am I gonna use it? This works for me. Um, I also have their um, water bronzer. Um, I have another shade in this. I don't know where it is though, but I have two shades in this. This one they actually sent me, the other one I um, purchased, but this is really, really nice. I do really enjoy the water bronzer. This is nice personally for me in summer is as a preference or on really, really no makeup makeup days where I just kind of slap this on and it really just gives me like a very natural glow to the face, um, but it isn't doing too much or adding too, too much pigment. This is really, really beautiful. I actually really enjoy this. It's so nice and it's just like, feels like literally nothing, which is amazing. And it has like decent longevity also. Speaking of longevity, look at this. 
Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't move. There's nothing on this. That's wild. Okay, so let's go on with this bronzer, but I do really like the water bronzer, but I feel like this one is going to be better. So I'm gonna dip in with this brush here, my regular like powder bronzer brush, and this is pigmented, so I'm gonna put it off on the back of my hand because if I don't do that, I end up looking crazy. And I like to have a very natural bronze look without it being too, too much. Dipping and then just applying to my cheeks. And I prefer, I don't love to push product around. I like to pat it in, in general. I just feel like it ends up looking better. Now this is a little bit warm for my complexion right now, but it's also warming me up in a way that's making me really happy. I'm gonna add a little bit more so that you guys can really see. I would probably stop here, but because I wanted to really pick up on camera, I'm going to apply a little bit more because you know, anything on camera looks a lot less intense um, than it does in person, which is why wedding makeup has to be so intense because flash photography and lighting always goes through the first layer of makeup. Um, and I'm really happy with that. That looks pretty nice. And I like to kind of bring it higher here too. So I'm happy with how that's looking. That looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna do highlighter um, after I do blush. So this is their cream blush um, and this is their lip and cheek palette. And I have the shade 225 Flare, which is really, really nice. Um, it's more pink than I would normally go for right now. This is a very much a spring cheek for me, but it is so pretty that I don't care. It's giving the vibes that I need right now because it's so cold and just, I don't know. It's just so cold and rainy outside today. I need like spring energy and this is so, so bright. So I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this brush here, a slanted brush. I'm gonna dip into it once. She is pigmented. And I'm going to kind of apply high. Do you see that pigmentation? Oh my gosh, this is like one that I can easily, easily make a mistake with. So I do a little bit at a time and just one dip. I don't go crazy. Um, I even would like clean off the back of my hand, but once you kind of blend it out, it does kind of really mesh into the skin really well and it doesn't look too, too crazy, but it is beautiful. She is so pigmented, oh my gosh. Okay, so that is that done. I'm really happy with how that's looking. It's not too intense. Um, I really, really <laughs> blended it out, um, but it also blends out really easily. The initial application is really pigmented, but if you keep blending, it really blends out really nicely and gives like a perfect flush. I might add a little bit more at the end. I didn't want it to be too intense because I don't know what I'm doing with the eyes. Next, let's move on to the eyes. So I have a bunch of options for the eyes. Some of them they sent me, some of them I got myself. So let's get into it. Um, this is one I got myself. So this is the Curator, Curator Eye Palette um, 710 Bear. I believe this is the only one that they have that's this big. And this is so, so pretty. So this is one that they say you can use um, you can transform from shadow to liquid liner with a little bit of water, which is pretty cool. Um, you can do that with most eyeshadows, but some formulas just work better with that technique than others. Um, so this is that one. Okay, so the next, I have a bunch of mini palettes. Um, so I have these two here. So these are very like pretty and neutral. Um, I want them to focus on, not me, on, the, on these. They're so pretty and so neutral. Um, so this one here is the shade or the palette um, outfit optional. And this one is Pastel Me Everything. I have used this one on camera before doing a makeup look. And then I also have these two, which are so good, especially this one. Um, so these are just gorgeous. So this one here is called Herd of Paradise. And this one here is called Brick by Brick. So I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do with my eyes. I don't want it to be too, too crazy, but also I feel like with like the springy cheek, it might be fun to do a little bit something fun on the eyes, but also I really want to use this palette because I feel like this is one people are going to gravitate towards the most. So I think I'll use some of this palette and then also like a little bit of the other ones. Let's go with a little bit of this um, palette here. I'm gonna use a little bit of the bronzer for my crease. Okay, so then I think I'm gonna go on Ooh, I'm gonna go with this palette here. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go on with this palette here next. I'm gonna grab this shade um, mixed with this white shade here or lighter shade here. Oh, cross contaminating. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then apply it to my lid. 
just for some sheen. I don't want this portion to be super, super um, shiny. Oh my gosh, it's raining so hard. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's kind of crazy. So then next I'm gonna go in again with this brush. I'm not gonna apply anything more, but I'm just gonna kind of blend. Next, I'm gonna go on with these bronzy shades here, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of this gold shade as well. Mix it, and I'm also gonna apply it to here and just over it, because I don't want it to be too, too um, cool tone. I do want it to be warm in tone, but I do like the tone of that cool tone eyeshadow that I applied, so just apply a little bit. We're not gonna go overboard or anything like that. I'm really into that, it's so pretty. So then I think I'm gonna go into this palette here and grab this shade, and I'm just gonna do, just lightly pat it all over the lid. It's so pretty. It gives like this really pretty like iridescent sheen, but doesn't like transform the shades underneath it too, too much, but isn't that so pretty, oh my gosh. So the next I'm gonna take this bronzer and then I'm gonna pull um, some of that bronzer shade under my lower, on my lower lash line. And again, I'm just mixing the two colors that I used. Okay, so the next I'm gonna do eyeliner and you can do um, this liquid to powder, uh, make this into lip powder. Oh my gosh, girl, get it together. You can make this um, into a liquid liner. I actually have done it and I like it, but I actually prefer the pigmentation of the color I'm going to use, this really, really dark shade here, um, when it's not wet. So I'm going to go on with a slanted brush, dip into that, kick it off. You don't want too much on this brush. Okay, so that is that done. I actually really, really like that. I kind of want to smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit more um, with like a darker color, make it a little bit more smoky. Um, so I think I might do that. I'm gonna go in with this shade here in the palette, the darker brown shade. Um, I really like this eyeshadow palette. I really like the way that the matte glass and everything. I also really like the little quads. They're so fun. And I'm really impressed with how long that these last, the, like the length of these on your eyes is really, really nice. And you don't need to use a primer. I kind of prefer always to use a primer because my lids get a little bit oily, um, which is super unfair because then also my lower lash line tends to be be a little bit more, I like have weepy eyes. So then I feel like I end up just having like the worst combo and I get like mascara smudging under my eyes sometimes, but then all my lid stuff doesn't last because it gets more oily, it's real rude. So again, just dipping into this color here. I don't want a lot and then I'm just gonna kind of lightly pull it around, but not all the way. And a halfway through, not too, too much at all. I really like how that is looking. Okay, so the next we're gonna move on to lashes. Now they have two lash products. One's a lash primer, so we're gonna use that on one eye um, and then not on the other eye. And then I have the mascara that I bought. They have a couple of mascaras. I couldn't decide which one to go for because some had a regular brush and some had a more plasticky brush. And since I'm really into plastic brushes right now, I kind of figured I would give this a chance um, just because like, why the heck not. So I'm gonna go on with this, on this eye, oh no, this eye. This lash primer doesn't leave like a white cast um, on your lashes. I know a lot of people don't like ones that leave like a really apparent cast on your lashes. This doesn't do that. So the next we have the mascara. So this is the one I ordered. Um, it has the plastic brush. I believe there was only one with a plastic brush and then I think there was like one or two with like a more traditional style brush, um, if I'm remembering correctly. But this one intrigued me so much, I had to try it because like this is like a 360 brush of insanity. Like nothing is the same on either side. It's like pretty wild actually. Um, so they have short bristles, long bristles, um, but it kind of, it's like 360 around. So every other line is, like a different style lash thingy, lash thingy, lash brush thingy. Oh my gosh, I don't know what they're called, teeth. I don't love that, but teeth. So we're gonna go on this side because I don't want the um, first, because I don't want the primer to make it too crazy. So that's one coat of mascara, one coat of primer on this eye. These lashes aren't as nice on this side than they are on this side, so this side's always gonna look nicer, but that's okay. I'm gonna dip in and out and then do this side again. Not gonna do bottom lashes just yet. 
So that is this with um, mascara and primer. Again, this is two coats of mascara, one coat of um, primer. I do find that this has pretty long, like nice longevity. I will say like there's not too, too much product on the wand, but there are occasions where when you pull it out, it does have a little bit too much product. So just be aware of that and clean it off just like you would any other mascara wand, um, especially if you have weepy eyes. If you don't have issues with that, don't even worry about it. This is nice. I do find when I over apply this mascara, like I do more than two coats on my lashes it tends to clump a little bit um but that happens right that happens okay so that is that done on my lashes let me just show you we have one with primer one without primer two coats of mascara on each what do you think I think they actually both look great, but I do think the side with the primer looks a little bit better, but to be fair, these lashes are a little bit in a better spot than these ones right now. I don't know what's going on with this eye. It's all wonky. So I'm gonna do lower lash mascara too. I do like this mascara. Okay, so that is that done. I did get a little bit of mascara on my lower like here, so I'm gonna have to brush that off with the spoolie when it dries down. But that is that done. I'm really happy with how that's looking. I don't find that this um, runs a ton or anything like that. It's not more than average. I would say that I have an average amount of like just here. Again, I have weepy eyes, so I always have a little bit of running here, um, unless it tends to be more of a waterproof mascara. Um, I do find that this lasts super, super long and it almost, it's one of those that like, depending on how many coats I do, sometimes it's a little bit tougher to get off, but not anything crazy. Not like waterproof mascara stuck on your lashes where you have it on your lashes for a hundred days. Um, but I do really, really like this. I'm liking how the makeup is coming out. I do kind of maybe want to add a little bit more blush to the cheeks, but right now it looks really good, so I don't want to ruin it. So I do think I'm going to set my face with um, a little bit of powder before we move on to the lips. Um, nothing crazy, just a little bit like right here. I'm just using a little bit of setting powder and it's one I'm currently testing. So I'm not going to share what it is just yet in case I don't end up loving it. But, oh my gosh, the can you hear the rain today? She's crazy. But I actually have been so far impressed with it. I'm not going to pull it all the way up because you know how I don't love to set my under eyes. Or if you don't know and you're new here, I don't love to set my under eyes. So let's move on to lips. So we have a couple of lip options today. We have two of their like glosses. I believe that's what they are. Are they glosses? Yeah, big papa gloss. So they have touch of mahogany here, which is a color, like a colored one. And then this one, which is barely pink, which is gorge. And this is more of a clear color. And I also have their lip life, which is like an exfoliating lip balm. But the exfoliating part is like the tip. I'm not applying it, but let me just show you. You can just go for your lip and exfoliate it. And it really does do a good job at like kind of exfoliating if you have like a bunch of like loose skin. Ooh, I don't love that, but like loose skin. I'm gonna exfoliate right now real quick before we decide what we're gonna do. Um, but this is really nice. I also have lip liners and stuff like that because I didn't, I don't have like a true, true intense like lip liner, lip color, lipstick, anything like that. Um, this might be a little bit too pink for this look, but let's try it on while we're here. Why not? Ooh, I don't know about this with this look. Oh my gosh, can you hear the rain? I hope you can't. So this is that lip color. So this is the shade Touch of Mahogany, if I haven't said. Um, cute, I don't know if I love that with this look, so I'm gonna remove that. Okay, next we have this shade, which is just Touch of Pink. My lips look really pink right now. Oh, probably because I exfoliated, duh. And this is that shade, so that is that. It's like a decent, has a little, like a touch of touch of color, but not much, um, little gloss, like she's cute. And then we have this one, the lip balm, which um, is a clear shade. I think I'm gonna do a lip liner with one of the clear colors. Um, so I have a bunch of lip liners. I have, these here. Oh, I also have this lipstick, the Freck Beauty um, Makeout Club lipstick in the shade Soft Blur, not Soft Blur, um, in the shade Main Character. This is, I've worn this before. Maybe I'll apply a little bit of this to my lips and then do a clear gloss on top. That's, that's the move today. I'm vibing with that. What do we think with this look? Oh, I do actually like that with this. This look, it looks a little bit more um, warm in the monitor and bright in the monitor than it does in person. In person, it's not nearly as warm or as bright. Let's move on to a clear option. Should we do the balm? 
let's do the balm just because I feel like this is one that everyone's gonna be like intrigued by. So let's do this. I haven't actually applied this over lip colors. I've only ever used it on its own. <laughs> and it's kind of like, I don't know about it on top of lip colors. Just because this like kind of drags through and creates like some streakiness a little bit. Oh no, when you blend it out with your finger, it's fine. I've only ever done this, like had it in my bag when my lips were screaming dry. This is actually a nice lip balm. I actually really enjoy this. This is really good. I'm cleaning that off because she looks crazy. This is really good at like hydrating and like it is a thinner consistency, but not so thin that it's like slicky oil feeling. It's nice. I actually really, it feels really, really hydrating on the lips. Oh, I do want to do a little bit of highlighter before we go, before we wrap this video up, this Undone Beauty video up. So I have these here. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna do this shade here in the middle. They're really, really like soft and creamy when you touch them. Um, like, look at that. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? That's wild, you guys. And I'm just gonna take my finger and really blend it all out. And it's nice, it blend, melts into the skin really nicely with your finger. And this is a good shade for me. It's very natural. Okay, might've over applied here, jeez. And yeah, that's it for this video. That is it for this full face of Undone Beauty, this full Undone Beauty um, review. I would love to know your thoughts on this brand down below. If you have used it, let me know down below. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.